This is the bare essentials of reinforced concrete, a series created to help people that work in construction better understand the theory which governs how reinforced concrete works as a material and how we use it on a construction site. Asking the questions for you is this group of people who are either construction professionals or students. And answering the questions will be Professor Tim Ibel of the University of Bath. Can you bend concrete? Well, you can bend concrete, but there is a problem. Let me try and explain using my hands. Just imagine that my two hands clasped together were, were a, a concrete beam. With a great big load acting on this, what happens is this will bend down. My hands will bend down. And can you see on top of my hands that my skin is scrunching up, which means that we have compression at the top of the beam. And if I turn my hands upside down, we have tension because my skin is stretching. Try it for yourselves. What that then means is that with that compression on top, any concrete at the top can take that compression easily. You've seen that from uh, uh, the bare essentials of concrete. But unfortunately, all that tension at the bottom is the problem. That's where concrete is not strong. And so what will happen is the concrete will crack and it will collapse immediately. So why don't concrete beams in buildings or bridges fall down? Well, that is a very good question. The problem is concrete has no tensile capacity. So structural engineers wrestled with this problem and thought, how on earth can we put tensile strength into concrete? And the solution lay in steel bars. We've all seen steel used in great big tensile structures. Think of the Golden Gate Bridge as an example, where the steel is in tension between two great big towers. Steel is brilliant in tension. It's wonderful. And concrete is wonderfully in compression. We put the two together, we create a new material, and that new material is reinforced concrete. 